Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraform. We got another coffee break for you. This time coming from Maz Coffee Roasters in Destin. It's a nice little place here. Got a little bit more, a little bit more musical background going on here. But they got checkers and chess and all this stuff and some nice uh, leather couches and stuff. So it's a pretty nice place. This is a series that I do where if one of my audience members decides to treat me to a cup of coffee, I uh, I actually go and have a cup of coffee. And I just talk about, um, you know, whatever I want to talk about. Um, I do give uh, you the opportunity to ask me anything. So um, if you do decide to treat me to a cup of coffee, remember you have this power where you can make me talk about whatever you want me to talk about. If you don't mention anything, I'm just going to talk about whatever I want to talk about and finish my coffee. Um, and I'll just go random. So... If there's something specific that you want to hear me talk about or you have a question, just leave that in the comments and I'll make sure to hit it up. This episode is brought to you by Rowan. He said, I really enjoyed the last coffee break, now I need more. And Rowan, boy do I ever as well. So thank you Rowan for the cup of coffee. I reminded Rowan about the AMA uh, and he said he'd try and think of something, but it's been a little while and he hasn't gotten back. Now he did send me this after I got back from China. Uh, or shortly thereafter, so it's been a little while. It's been a little crazy uh, since my uh, my time in China, and uh, this is really the first time I had to sit down and record these these coffee breaks. We'll give Rowan a pass here. If this is the right Rowan, I think Rowan is also a content creator. His own YouTube channel focusing on Azure software development and the like. So I linked him in the description below. So go check out his channel and give him some love. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about difficult conversations. Um, this is definitely something that I've learned and got better at over the years as, as everything. I mean, nobody's great at everything the first time they try it. Um, I think they even say mastery takes uh, at least 30 times of doing something before you can have a shot at claiming mastery. So if you're just starting out in your career, probably not going to have have had 30 conversations where you broach difficult topics with other people. Now this difficult conversation in question stands out in my mind because of the subject matter a little bit. Now, typically you think difficult conversations are going to be about people's performance or you know maybe mistakes that they made on a project or something like that. This difficult conversation was of another matter. You see, in consulting, oftentimes we have to present ourselves to the customer and, you know, you want to present yourself in the best possible light. And oftentimes that means whatever the dress code is at the customer site, you got to do, you got to bump it up a notch, just like a little bit, not, not too much. Like we're not talking like wear a tuxedo, you know, when it's uh, business casual or anything like that, but you know, you got to, you got to look professional, you got to look put together. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, as we talked about in previous coffee breaks, in consulting you work a lot of hours and some things can kind of slip through the cracks. And uh, this time I was working at, uh, I think it was in Memphis, Tennessee, and I was working with this uh, Accenture partner named James. James was a really polished guy, really put together, dressed extremely nicely, and always had pressed pants and pressed shirt and like just look dressed to the nines every day and uh, you know I, I can't I can't claim that you know I was I was at that place or I've ever even gotten at that place in my career um, I did you know, put for some effort but um, you know you can tell some people just they're they're really good at it and they're really put together anyways James took me aside one day and he said and he was, he was very kind of coy about it not not coy like in a in a joking manner but he's you could tell he was uncomfortable and we were uh, we just finished up a meeting with a customer where we were in a conference room or something like that and we were walking down the hallway back to our working area you know with consultants we always you know kind of squat wherever the wherever the client puts us so we were walking back together just me and James and you know James kind of turns on me like in the hallway just kind of like and he just says you know, hey Mark actually there was something I want to talk to you about and uh, I was like, oh, oh yeah, James. Like I was a little, it's a little, you know, this was out of the ordinary. Like he was making a point. He was very polite, and very calm, but uh, I could tell something was bothering him. And he said, yeah, Mark, um, 
there's just something I wanted to talk to you about. You know, maybe, you know, something you could work on. I was like, oh no, what did I do? Did I, did I like say something stupid in front of the customer? Did I like, um, you know, ask him a dumb question? You know, like, was my design, you know, for the, for the architecture poor, poorly articulated? You know, what, like, what was going on? Like, I, I, my mind was buzzing with like, what, what could be going on in James's mind? And James says, <clears throat> Mark, you know, um, I don't know how to say this, but uh, you've got really long nose hair. And I was like, I was like, what? I was like taken aback. I was just like in utter shock. I'm like, not, a, not at all what I was expecting. And I was like, okay you know <laughs> and part of me is like relieved like it's not like related to performance and then i immediately become kind of self-conscious like oh my gosh do i have like bushes coming out of these things like what what's going on um and he's like yeah you know you might you might want to get a trimmer and like just take care of that you know on an ongoing basis <laughs> i was like and I, it was a grooming issue, right? And I had never thought about it like this. I, I really didn't spend a lot of time looking up my nose in the mirror. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I said, I, I could tell that it was coming from a place where he wanted to help me. And uh, he wanted me to live my best life. And so the, the fact that he approached me uh, respectfully and discreetly one-on-one -on -one, and in kind of in impasse and in passing like we were tra transitioning from one meeting to another meeting or we had just finished a meeting and we were moving someplace else so he didn't make like a big deal about it it's not like he put it on the calendar like discuss mark's nose hair or something like that or mark's grooming habits right <clears throat> so i think he walked the line of you know kind of handling it in passing versus making a point about it because we were in transition there was no scheduled meeting it was like an off-the-cuff conversation but he did round on me like as we were walking to make a point and to kind of emphasize the importance of this topic and you know at this point in my career i was a uh, very very senior architect um you know i think maybe maybe i'd made director um or as just about to make director, it's hard for me to remember, um, at this consulting company that I was at. And so people were kind of, at that point, looking to me as like a, senior, a very senior leader. And, um, you know, I, I guess maybe my grooming habits had not, like, you know, uh, kept up with my title and the aura that surrounded me in front of, uh, in front of clients. Um, and James wanted to, you know, emphasize this to make sure that you know, I thought about this because yeah, maybe maybe that could impact people's perceptions of me. Like, man, this guy, he's got bushy eyebrows, he's got a unibrow, he's got hair coming out of his nose. You know, like, guy doesn't take care of himself. Like, maybe maybe we can't trust him. You know, and you know, say what you want about like aesthetics, and uh, but there is something about you know looking put together and um, taking care of yourself. You know, not everybody can be Mark Zuckerberg and walk around in a hoodie all day or just wear sandals and shorts, act like you're Zeus from Mount Olympus or something like that, you know? So especially in consulting, first impressions matter. And if you're at a certain level within the organization, you're going to be rubbing shoulders with people that value these things. And I could tell James was one of those people, but James had a lot more experience dealing with people at that, at that level than I did. And he was kind of sharing this wisdom with me. So, so it was a difficult conversation because it's like, how do you tell somebody that, uh, that they look sloppy, right? Um, but uh, he handled it with, with tact, I would say, by being very respectful and very gentle, but assertive. And he handled it with discretion. So whatever difficult conversation you have with folks that you work with, either peers, subordinates, um, anybody. I think these are good things to think about when you approach that conversation.
Anyways, I'm pretty sure you guys probably weren't expecting me to talk about nose hair today. Uh, but, uh, you know, it kind of stands out as kind of a funny, a funny memory from, uh, from my career, you know, and at a, at a point in my career where, where I was starting to be more visible in front of the C-suite and their direct reports. And, uh, you know, it's something, something to think about. So, hope you guys find this helpful. And, uh, whether it's nose hair or something a little bit more serious, make sure that you follow James's example. Be respectful be discreet and exercise a little bit of tact anyways that's it for me uh thank you rowan again for the coffee it's quite delicious if you want to hear more stories or you have a question or a topic that you want to that you want me to dig into please put that in the comments when when you send that coffee my way and i'll talk about it in the next coffee break anyways that's it for me this is the azure terraformer signing off